quite a hit list as we've touched down. You know, a school of short fin squid, which are probably spawning, um, several fish, and now, and now one of my favorite deep sea animals, and I'm so glad we got to see one already, giant isopod. And Mike, as far as the squid eyes go, uh, when we pass over uh, yeah, some of them, you can see two hey, large red so far as objects uh, um, inside the head. And I was wondering if that's the sort of the, the upper portion of the eyeball within the head or because um, it looks very reflective in red. Yeah, I'll have to look at a close-up when we get to one. But they, I did notice that these squids are forming uh, particular uh, chromatophore displays, which uh, uh, I'm not sure exactly what they're uh, what they're trying to tell everybody. But uh, so they, it's a way that they communicate yeah. both within species there. and uh, among Ship's species settled. by changing the patterns of coloration on their body. They're capable of of changing their, their color patterns very rapidly. Uh, thanks very much for that. Footage of this, or are you happy to move on? I don't know if anybody already said it. Uh, the, uh, as long as video is happy, yes, we're happy. Thank okay. you. All right, video, yeah. Okay. Is there anything else you want? I, I think that's it. Unless it flips over. <laughs> yeah. So Check a little bit well. about um, <laughs> that giant, giant ice pod, which we're leaving now. Um, they are really, really important scavengers in the deep sea benthic environment. Um, they're thought to be found worldwide and um, are a really, really great example of deep sea oh, gigantism. Remember. Most isopods found in the right. deep sea are smaller than your yeah, thumbnail. Um, and so this is a huge break 